All right, everybody. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to work with a basically an imagery creation. And what we're doing is we're using our iPads and our drawing pens to um, draw the overall design of this. And so I'm going to walk you through the process of how this starts. Okay, so what I've got is we're going to be using Adobe Draw. So I'll click on here. And then I'm going to start a new document. So I've got a couple that have already started. And I'm going to add another piece. So when we make this, we've got iPad. We're just going to go with the landscape one, which is on the top. Okay. And now <clears throat> these are our drawing tools. Down here at the bottom is the eraser tool. Up at the top is our basic brushes that what we're going to be using. And so we've got our background layer on the right side, and then we've got our, our drawing layer. So I'm gonna start with an image. So I click on the plus, and then click on the image. And then on my iPad, I'm gonna click on this image here. So this is the picture that I'm gonna be using. Now, when we make this bigger, pull from the corner. Okay, pull from the corner. Don't pull from the middle on the side, because then it does that and it stretches it out. Same with this way, it stretches it out. We don't want it to look like that. So we're gonna go much larger for this, okay? Then when you're done in the top right corner, press done. Now, the next thing we're gonna do now, if I wanna move this, I can click on it and then hold it down and then move it. Now I've got a drawing layer right here. So if I click on it, if I double click on it, it can hide the layer or Make the layer visible. Now, we've done this project before, and the reason we're doing it this way uh, with the pen tool is just so you learn a little bit about how to use the pen tool. And so it's a very similar process. So it's a picture that you can use, but instead of using a pen tool, we're using the drawing tool. And so with the pencil tool, I've got, I'm just using the basic rounded shape. Now, if I hold on this, let's see here. So if I click on it, there we go. Now I've got the size the opacity, and the color. If I want to choose the color, I can go in this route to find a purple, or if I press and hold on color, I can drag to a certain spot for the color that I want. So I might want, and wherever it's pointing to, it's going to be the plus inside the circle, right? So I'm going to want maybe a color like this for my starting point. If I want to change that color just a little, that's fine too. And so I'll, I'll click on here. Now, the size of my brush when I click on this, if I drag it down, it gets smaller. If I drag it up, my brush size gets pretty big. Up in the right corner here with this rotating arrow, I can go backwards. And so I'm gonna make this a smaller brush size. Now, as we work on this, I'm using two fingers to do this. So I'm using my thumb and my forefinger so I can make this larger or smaller as I work on it. And so I'm gonna make this larger. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw my overall shape. And as I'm drawing this, you can get as detailed as you want to. And um, it's kind of up to you how you go about drawing everything. Now I'm gonna go through his head right there and draw that. Make sure you close the path because if it doesn't, if you don't close the path, um, then you can't fill it in with color. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press inside of this circle and in, inside of the shape that I've drawn for the shirt and press and hold. When I press and hold, it's gonna fill it with color. Okay, so that's my starting point. Now the next thing on the right side, I'm gonna press the plus button and then I'm gonna click on the draw layer. So now I've got a new layer and I'm gonna start adding shadows. And so I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to start adding more shadows. Now to change the color, I can do one of two things. Maybe I go this route to make it darker or I can go this route to choose the color. That might be a little bit dark. So I'm going to go back to um, what I had before. So I'm going to grab this color, grab it here. There we go. Hide that layer. And then I want to go a little bit darker. There. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and draw 
some little shapes. And then I'm gonna go in and add a little bit more right in here. Now, as I'm drawing this again, make sure that it's colored in and make sure it's closed paths. There, and so I'm just pressing on each piece. So I'm pressing on the inside of it. And so you can see on this, it might not be closed. So there's just a little pixel. See how that's not completely closed? And so I need to cover that part up. And now I can fill that color in. Now, if I don't press perfectly, if I just press with one finger at a time, then I'm going to get those marks. So I'm in the top right. I'm going to click where those arrows are right there. There. So now I've, I've covered that part in. And so all I'm going to be doing is just filling in these shapes. And so it's up to you how much you add to this. And so for each of these, I'm just pressing and making it a little bit darker. So you just kind of go through this process and keep adding to it. Press and hold so it colors it in. And so you can see how the shadows are starting to pop up. And let's see here. I'm going to go in here. Add a little more of a shadow. Cover it in, and then press and hold, and that part's colored. So it's up to you how much you end up adding. Um, as you work on yours, I mean, you can really, if you really want to, you can zoom way in and color everything. And that's fine, but it might take a long time to color everything in there so there's that kind of happy medium like you don't want to draw the whole thing at this size because then you won't be able to see everything so it's good to zoom in a little bit more now i'm going to get some more shadows in here whoops and just make this darker now what you can do for this picture is maybe as we're drawing this you know maybe i want to do it on on this layer so i click the eye and i can change the opacity of it and then i can see everything and continue drawing. So maybe I want to draw right on this same layer, or maybe I want to make a new layer. Usually what I like to do is, um, oops, I like to be able to see everything that I'm doing. So I want to just hide that layer and then work on a new layer. So if I just press once on the draw layer, I see all of these options. I can transform it. I can transform all layers. I can duplicate a layer. I can merge a layer and I can delete it. So if I don't like something or if I by mistake add another layer, I can just press delete and it's gone. So now I'm going to add a little more of a shadow down here. Okay, and then press and hold on it and that fills in. I'm going to draw another shape right down here. Now notice how I'm drawing over his arm. That's fine because I'm going to end up drawing over that later on with his actual arm. Okay, and then draw another little shape down here. And then we just kind of go through this process. Cover that in. And then cover that part in. All right, so now as I'm doing this, let's show that. Okay, so now that's looking pretty good. Now what I'm going to do here is I want to merge down okay and now what's happened is that's all on the same layer okay now i'm going to hide that and i want to draw the two so i'm going to draw this two on here of course it helps if i add a new layer so i new drawing layer and again notice how i'm a little bit off with my design that's okay. Because I can go back to it later and I'm going to draw over that. Now, if I don't like that color, maybe it's a little bit too bright. I want to darken it a little bit. 
Okay, then I'm just gonna press and hold on that. And now I've darkened it. Now I'm gonna go in here. And draw another part. And then press and hold. And then I get that section done. So you can see how this process is coming along. And eventually what I'm gonna do is, let's hide these two, so I double click on that. I'm gonna add a little shadow in here. So I'm gonna go with a little bit darker color. And then um, again, what I can do is, let's try this once. Change the opacity to 50, okay? And then I'm just going to draw that shape, make that a little bit more shaded. Shade that area. And then shade this area. So then when I click on this, bring it back to 100%. Now I've got a little more of a better color. Now if I want to erase something, so I got a little bit close right there. Whoa, that didn't work. So let's grab this brush and make it a lot smaller. There we go. So I've just erased the corner just a bit. There. So that looks a little bit cleaner. So go back to this one. Click on it. And then as I zoom out on this, you can see how this is going. Okay, so hopefully this kind of gives you an idea. So I'm going to go back. So I'm going to close this one. And so I'm going to go into this image. And now as I'm going through this, here are the layers that I've got here. So I've got my image, I added a background. To draw these horizontal lines, I actually used a ruler. I don't know how to draw a straight line with my hands. So use a ruler or a book or an edge of something that's solid and then you can draw that line a lot better. So that kind of helps. With the shoes, right, was it the shoes or the arms? I think this is the arms, yeah. So there are several layers included in this that'll kind of help you out. So. Um, hopefully this helps you get started with this. And again, with this layer here, this is several different layers. So it's not like I did everything on one layer. I did it on several layers and I just merged down, merged down, merged down. And if you want to change a color, so if you want to draw something, um, over here, you know, if I want to add a shadow into a skin tone, I might go here, add a little bit, and then, you know, maybe I... Uh, maybe if I get on the right layer, it might work, okay? And so one thing I haven't mentioned is the how you press on the paper. So if you press down really lightly, you draw really thin, and then as you press harder, you can see what happens. So that's just by pressing harder. So the lighter I press, the smaller it gets. And then if I make my brush size even smaller, like this, if I go draw, you can see how thick it gets. So anyway, I hope this helps you as we get started on this assignment. I think it's a really fun assignment. I've never done this before, and I'm honestly having a blast. Like, I've never drawn on an iPad before, so this is a new thing for me. So um, I hope you enjoy this assignment. I hope you have a good time with it. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out but we're doing all of this on our iPads if you haven't figured that out already. So good luck with this. Have some fun. If you need a pen, check in with me and, and I'll get that for you. So that's all I've got, everybody.